guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna to show you a very easy recipe that you can make ahead for a brunch or just to get you prepped ahead for the holidays that are coming. Actually, they're here. Uh, I made a sausage and cheese biscuit recipe and these are great. They make great breakfast sandwiches, put a fried egg on it or just eat them plain the way they are or have them next to some ham, whatever you'd like. Anyways, it's an easy recipe. I hope this inspires you to stay with me, and if it does, go down in that show more box below, hit the like button on the way down if you like this video, share it on your Facebook page, go join in on my Facebook page, I've left that link for you, as well as my Wild Tree website where you can go shop for all natural organic products, no GMO, no preservatives, no nothing that isn't good for you in there. All right guys, so let's go make a delicious and easy biscuit recipe and get that out of the way for a couple of days. Come on. All right guys, I'm really glad that you decided to stay for this one. These biscuits, I usually do it in two cups uh, of flour to start with. This is a double batch, so it's four cups of flour in here. I've got my schmaltz that I made, or I didn't make it, uh, rendered off of those chickens and canned it. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of that as my fat. So um, a lot of you wanted to know how I was gonna use that. All my jars sealed, and you can tell by picking it up after you take the ring off, just like that. Know that they sealed well. And open that. Um, and somebody had commented about um, stuff coming out from under the lid. Uh, I've never, ever had that happen, so um, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my dry ingredients here. And I want a heaping tablespoon of baking powder. Actually, I need two tablespoons of baking powder. Excuse me. And I like to heap that up. I really like a lofty biscuit, and this is uh, definitely necessary. A half a tablespoon, healthy half a tablespoon of baking soda. I'm not going to put any salt in this because there's going to be some sausage in here and it's already got enough salt. So, and we're going to have some cheese as well. Now I've got some red pepper flakes and I'm just going to give it a good pinch of pepper flakes there. Not very much, just for some background warmth, not necessarily heat. And I just kind of get those ingredients together. If I wasn't using sausage or cheese in these, then I would go ahead and put a little bit of salt. And I would use Himalayan pink Two salt. Two thirds of a cup of the schmaltz. And if this was in the refrigerator, it would be uh, solid, which now it will go back into the refrigerator or go into the refrigerator because I've opened the jar. Otherwise, it would have a nice long shelf You just shelf incorporate life. your fat, just cut it in there, just like you would if you were using shortening. Once Anything you feel else. like you've got it cut in there pretty good, you've got pea-sized pieces or smaller, uh, then you can start adding. Probably going to end up milk. to be about two thirds of a cup of buttermilk as well. Okay, so now I've got my dough is just about where I want it, and I want to go ahead and add the other uh, ingredients. I've got some sausage, and this is a breakfast sausage. You could use ham. You could use anything you want here. But this is kind of our favorite, and. It's a nice uh, sage breakfast sausage. And then, if that wasn't good enough, we have some, about a cup of grated cheddar cheese. And we're going to get that mixed in now. Now you can see how many biscuits this is going to make. And again, if it doesn't look like you've got enough um, buttermilk, just to add a little bit more. It really depends on the humidity and the air and the amount of time the flour has to absorb it, all those things. And yeah, I want it a little bit more wet. So, 
You might be ended up with about three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. All right, now when I get that all mixed, we'll roll it out. All right, so I get your surface flour that you're gonna do this on. And I'm not gonna do it on the countertop. I'm just gonna make for easy cleanup this morning. I got tons of stuff to get ready for this holiday. And this is kind of a wet dough. Uh, total, almost two cups of buttermilk in here. The fat is pretty uh, liquidy, and so that's why it didn't take as much buttermilk. Normally for, you know, four cups of flour, you would need about two cups of buttermilk. Oh, I just love these. They are so good. And you may not even need a rolling pin. This doesn't even look like I'm going to need one. I want these big, lofty, hearty holiday biscuits. I don't want these to be um, wimpy at all. And I want them to raise up and rise to the occasion. Christmas. Of, okay, get your biscuit cutter. And I try not to waste any dough. Just go straight down, pull it away. Don't, don't twist. And it's a good half an inch. I'm gonna put this over here. I've got my baking sheet all ready and waiting with foil and parchment. And I'll get the rest of these on the baking sheet and then I'll show you what I do before. Okay, I can so we have a dozen and a half biscuits to go in the oven. I'm gonna put the first dozen in there and I really like the way these rise up. I think you guys will like it as well. And it just gives you a full breakfast. I mean, you've got your sausage and cheese and your biscuit and it's just delicious. So, and the chicken the schmaltz makes it over the top delicious. So let's get these in a 400 degree oven until they're golden brown and then we'll the second All right guys, them. here's the beautiful platter of uh, biscuits. Missing two, but... Um, these are gorgeous. These are still really, really hot. And you can see the inside. You got cheese, you've got sausage. I'm only gonna take one little bite because it's not a low carb biscuit. Bottom's all golden brown, top's nice and brown as well. Mmm. Wow, those are really good. Very light savory, mm, full of that sausage flavor, but I can taste that chicken flavor in the background as well. So I hope this inspires you, you guys, to try maybe um, saving some chicken fat and using it in some savory biscuits, or maybe it inspires you to just make some homemade biscuits on your own. And as always, guys, I hope I see you next time. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Alright guys, God bless.